Hey, what's up, guys? Jordan here from the Traders Terminal, and today we're going to talk about Bitcoin. Uh, this setup is overall based on a few assumptions here. So first of all, looking at platform X, and I can see that long, mid, and short term, they're all saying we're in a strong bearish trend. That's pretty obvious from looking at the price action as well. And having this confirmation on all single directions and the, the given time frame combinations, this setup becomes kind of obvious and really cool to, to trade, all right? So let's go ahead and see, first of all, on the daily chart and what the price action has for us. What I see here is that the price is trading inside a tiny channel, which I would mark like this. Well, not so tiny anymore. It's been raging, ranging for a few weeks, right? But overall, this is the idea here. So that's more or less the basics of trading, of trading, right? This is how the trend is developing. You see this fantastic moves in one direction, then consolidation happens, and then another consolidation happens, and then continuation, etc., etc. So even based on that, we can see that after the move, what we assume to be a correction here is completed, uh, this low holds, and we can see and anticipate the price to continue lower. Now, what's more interesting in this case is that we have a pretty decent level right there. And now the price is going and penetrating this zone very aggressively, going pretty much to the close of it, to the bottom of it, sorry, right here. So if I go around to the lower time frames, I can start looking for a potential breakout. First of all, we do have a bearish delta pattern right there, which is fantastic. This is another confirmation for me. Then we can go ahead and mark the bottom right here. And I really don't like to go ahead and use uh, this kind of moves to trade it unless the price gets somewhere around here and I get a setup on, let's say, 15 minute chart or so. All right. If it remains in a flat or flat ish. Um, consolidation pattern, I prefer to go ahead and use the swing low. Okay. Now, there are a few things and problems which arise based on this possible entry. So if this is the actual high that we're going to work with up to here somewhere, and this is the kind of risk reward ratio that we need and get, look where the target of one to one goals slightly below this is monthly pivot i believe right monthly support one so that is a bit problematic for me but besides this one i really don't see any uh, other significant um obstacles on the way down because technically speaking once and if this move is completed we should be getting at least a new low right here double bottom or a new low pardon and now if i go ahead and replicate this thing again we can see that we're starting to look at one to one one to two maybe even one to three and that's only having the assumption that the price is going to stop around the previous swing low there, all right? This is 1770. So I like it. I definitely like it. Uh, in terms of divergences and indicator, this thing went for another push there. It created kind of a double top or just a tiny Pause break right here and then breakout. This breakout is also coming along with this monthly pivot there. So the breakout is happening alongside the pivot point. Overall, in my opinion, if we get a break to the downside, I do believe that the structure is going to be broken. The four hour chart range of consolidation is going to be broken. And all that is putting a lot of pressure to the downside. Plus we have indices once again moving lower 
which is a bit trickier at the moment, but Bitcoin at this stage at least is following Nasdaq, right? And in general, uh, we can relate Nasdaq to the indices. It's one of the general indices. So I think that from any angle I look at it, this thing is supposed to move lower and this setup is becoming pretty, pretty decent. Okay, so that's my idea. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.